the warning. What makes them so good? I'm Joe Hopkins, and I've been thinking about that because they're one of my favorite bands. If you haven't heard them, you should check them out. You just go to like YouTube and type in The Warning. Yeah, there's a picture comes up of uh, three women. They're sisters. They kind of look alike, similar to each other because they're sisters, and that you found the right one. But what makes them so good? And the reason why I've been thinking about that is because I'm a musician and I write songs and I put out music and I always ask about some of my favorite artists, what makes them tick because I'd like to steal some of that thunder, you know what I mean? I'm not that popular at the moment. Maybe someday I'll be a big star, but right now I'm trying to figure it out. What makes them tick? And I've been thinking about it, and I figured some things out. Some things are pretty obvious. First of all, one thing that really does help them, it, it always helps, they are good looking. That helps anybody. That always helps. Doesn't mean you'll be popular, but it doesn't hurt. It also helps that they look good. That's a different thing. They're not just good looking, they know how to present themselves. They know, like, every time I see any clips of them, it's spot on. They know how to, how to dress. They know how to do their hair. They know how to do the rock star thing to look like they should be at the top of the charts. They look the part. But the main thing that makes people so good is their music. You know, they are musicians. That's the important part. Uh, <laughs> you, would, you would hope. Right, this is this isn't the '80s anymore, where MTV ruled the world, and you had to look good. Uh, with streaming, you can be ugly and make it again. Um, <laughs> so it would seem. But uh, what makes their music so good? And I got to think about it. Obviously, uh, in, in my opinion, it's pretty obvious. The songs are pretty straightforward, and that that helps. People like them, a broader range of people. You know, they're proficient with their instruments. And a lot of other people are proficient, too. But these girls write some pretty straightforward rock and roll songs. It's what made ACDC so damn popular, was just straightforward rockers that appeal to a broad audience. You don't have to think a lot to get it. <laughs> there are bands that I really like, like Tool, but you have to think to get it. Soundgarden requires a little bit more mental activity, right? And and their bands, those are bands that were popular too. But uh, I've noticed something that's really helped the warning is just the broad appeal that comes from writing rather simple, catchy, straightforward tunes. And they are catchy. I, I got to say that. Uh, the They're very proficient with their instruments. They're very good at serving the song. There's There's nothing in it that detracts from the song, right? We all know those bands that you like the song, but sometimes they do stuff that's maybe a little fancier than the song deserves, or maybe a little more mundane than they should be doing. Well, these girls serve the song pretty well. Everything they're doing musically goes with the song. And that's, uh, I think, more than just the producer they're working with, because it's been like that across all four of their albums, uh, where each time I hear them, every album I've listened to, it's like, yeah, everything they're doing uh, works for the song that they're doing, right? Some people, you notice, they work with a, a new producer and, or, you know, work with a different songwriter and all of a sudden, you know, the sound is different. Not in this case. Uh, it's been pretty much straightforward rockers that are catchy and uh, they are proficient with their instruments and the vocals are great. That also really does help. They they have uh, majority of the singing is done by uh, uh, Daniela, the guitarist, and Paulina, the drummer, uh, share, you know, sings a, a good number of the songs as well. And they both have excellent voices. It helps to have an excellent voice, you know, uh, or at least an interesting voice. They have good voices, and their voices are interesting. That's that's a benefit, right? Uh, because if you don't have a, a good voice, have an interesting voice. They have both. That certainly helps. And uh, when I mentioned the broad appeal, I think that also really helps them a lot, too. Uh, I went to see them live a, a couple months ago, 
And I noticed that the appeal is pretty broad. The audience was everything from people old, you know, people older than me to kids, my kids' age, like nine, ten year olds, and everybody li liked it. It's a broad appeal. Certainly helps to you know to gain popularity. If you can write songs, you know, popular doesn't mean you're good, but they are good and they have a broad appeal. You know, if you can write songs that work across generations, kudos to you, man. You're, uh, you're more likely to sell records, ain't you? And you're more likely to sell concert tickets if people, if people's kids want to go. <laughs> I didn't know I could bring my kid. I, I thought, you know, I didn't, maybe I should have, she might've liked it. So, you know, I think all that has a lot to do with it. A lot to do with it. And I've noticed uh, their popularity picking up in the U.S. It seems like it really has taken off elsewhere bigger than it has here. Obviously, Mexico. They're from Mexico, Latin America. They, they do quite well. Uh, it seems like they're really big in Canada, you know, <laughs> bigger than they are here, which, you know, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's an international kind of kind of uh, audience that's latching on, but they're gaining popularity here, and I like that because I want to see them do bigger shows here in the U.S. The show I got to see it wasn't that long a show. It was like you know, uh, I don't know, hour and a half, hour and forty five minutes, but they're doing you know two and a half hour shows elsewhere. I'd like to see that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like like them to be doing that here. Maybe if they gain more popularity here, play bigger venues, that kind of thing. But uh, that's another thing that makes them so good is seeing them live. I see that they are incredibly good live. They're a really great live act. Uh, a lot of that power that they have live comes through in the recordings too. Not everybody gets that. I've seen quite a number of bands that are amazing live and it just doesn't carry over into recording. Uh, for example, when I saw The Warning, their opening act was Holy Wars. And I saw them, I'd heard their stuff and I was like, yeah, it's okay. I saw them live and they were amazing. So I went back and listened to their recorded stuff again and I'm still like, yeah, it's okay. There's a band, they killed it live. It, I don't think it carries over under the recordings. But The Warning, it does. Their recordings feel have the same big punchy feel that it does when you when they're playing to an audience. I like that. I appreciate that a lot. It means I get kind of the same feel on the album, at least to a degree. It's not quite as big as you get live. Being there is always awesome, but it has a lot of that live feel. Once again, like ACDC had. Uh, I've compared them to ACDC a couple times now, and I, I think that that's pretty apt because uh yeah they have kind of the similar vibe going on in some ways right not musically as much they're both rock bands but they don't they don't sound like acdc but just those nice punchy rock and roll songs with a broad appeal and a very live sound even recorded i like that i like that a lot they're one of my favorite bands and I think y'all should check them out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, th that's my, my that's my opinions on things. I guess guess I'm ranting about what I like, right? But uh, I've found a lot of the newer music now. Some of it does it for me. Some of it doesn't. And this band really does it for me, really well. I think they I think they could have been popular in the past. I think they could have been popular in the 80s or 90s even, you know? Like, uh, even back in the 70s, a band like that could have done really well with this same sound. So, anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.